Was geht, it's Feltz and welcome to a video that will be full speculation, zero facts and as you can see by the title it's going to be on what Valve can do to still save RMR investments or what Valve could do. As I've shared in this video and as you guys will have undoubtedly noticed, RMR has taken a big potentially final blow with the release of Stockholm capsules at the same price point, which also have gold stickers in them and look much better. Once they're available for 20 cents on a discount, the demand from gamblers RMR capsules still have should move over to Stockholm for as long as it's pretty much at the same price. As we've estimated before, there should be well over 200 million RMR capsules sold over the course of its duration in the in-game store. And even though, based on its sales volume in the past few months and the fact that most people who buy these seem to be opening them, the unboxing rate should be at well over a few hundred thousand per month since the discontinuation of these, it's clear that more than enough of the capsules are still in existence. Meaning that once the demand goes down, prices should go further down and the future of the investment will look bleak. Now that's the reality of the situation once or for some of you, if Valve put the Stockholm capsules on a 75% sale. To add to that, Valve will start doing two majors again annually, at least for 2022 and 2023, so we will have four new sticker collections within the next 24 months. So unless Valve have to cancel those majors again unwillingly, which no one on the entire planet should want, it's hard to see how RMR sticker investments can recover for the next couple years. Even Stockholm stickers could be having a difficult time depending on how many of it are bought as investments, how future stickers look like and how much investing demand remains for those. Sticker investing as a whole has a tricky future in front of it basically. But today we're not talking about the worst case scenario, we're talking about the best case scenario. And for RMR investments specifically, what could Valve theoretically do to help RMR's investment potential and what could the potential effects of their actions look like overall? Is there anything Valve can realistically do at this point? Well, let's go through some scenarios and discuss. Now as I said these are highly theoretical and the chance that we see some of these suggested or potential scenarios is as close to zero as it gets. That said I personally like the following idea and it would help even if ever so slightly to lower supply of some of the stickers. People opening capsules are looking to get those expensive, rare, desired items, in RMR's case those gold stickers. When RMR capsules went for 85 cents pre-discount, Navi and Tailu golds went for over 100 euros for example. Now that the price of capsules has been cut by 75%, the Navi and Tailu golds crashed by well over 80 to 90% and the other golds, well, some are barely worth the price of 5 capsules. Keep in mind the chance to get one is 1 in 156. The issue here is that those golds just exist too often and the demand in comparison is just too little to have those be worth a whole lot. The issue is even larger when we consider low tier stickers. The Evil Geniuses paper goes for 3 cents and has 312,000 listed, with an easy 2 million of it created up to this point, and very likely even more than that. With that huge supply for all 8 stickers of the RMR Legends capsule and the extremely low price for those, it's hard to see the capsules becoming much more expensive anytime soon. People would just get tired of getting 1 cent back for every 7 of 10 capsules they open. And there just won't be enough demand anytime soon to eat into that insane supply, so as of now the only hope is that some weirdo buys up a few hundred thousand of those at a time. But that is not sustainable growth and very unlikely to happen in the first place. Two ideas came to my mind with the first being way more unrealistic than the other. The first is to create a trade-up system for stickers similarly to skins which has done wonders to the supply or to say it differently to the scarcity of them. With stickers the big issue is that a trade-up system would just devalue high tier ones since 10 hollows could get you a foil and 10 foils a gold for example. You would end up with way too many golds, their price would stay low and the issue of low incentive to open capsules would not be solved. A second method that I myself am more of a fan of, though also see a very low chance of being implemented, is to have the badge crafting system of Steam implemented into CSGO itself. The way this works is that you would need to use let's say 5 or 10 or all items of a certain tier of stickers from a specific collection and you would get a badge for it in your CSGO inventory. For example for using 10 paper stickers from RMR you would get the normal RMR 2020 badge and for using 10 holos you would get the RMR 2020 holo badge. While this wouldn't give any real value to people it might be something of value to collectors. Even if 1000 people would want that paper badge that would be 24,000 paper stickers that would be deleted out of existence if all paper stickers out of a collection are required to get it for example. You know those books they bring out with every Euro or World Cup where you collect the stickers of every player? This would be kind of something like that. 
Now the main issue I see here is that Valve would need to create many dozen different badges for something like this if they would go all the way back to Katowice 2014. Plus there's the question of whether there would be even more badges for player autograph stickers. The worst case you could just combine player and team stickers from one major to craft one badge. Still, I don't know if Valve really want to add dozens of badges into the game when even the OG CSGO players barely have a couple dozen of them after all these years from their pickems, operation coins and service medals. What they could do, and I appreciate the guys on my discord server for discussing it with me, is for one to create one badge per major that is upgradable, meaning to get it to normal you would need to collect all player and team paper stickers, to get it to holo you would need to collect all player and team holo stickers and so on. This would lower the total badges needed by 4 and Valve could only start implementing this system with RMR since that's the first collection where the supply issue was really too much. Or they can even create a new tab in your inventory where you could for example select the RMR 2020 collection and it would show you all stickers needed to get the badge update which would only display in that tab similarly to something like this that exists in the game Madden NFL. Another idea from the Discord server was to use the trade up system in a way that instead of trading up to the stickers you get from the same capsule, you could trade up to unique different designs of that sticker. Similarly to the surf shop stickers where you have four different designs for each sticker for example, you could have two different designs for each major sticker with one being available from capsules and another from trade ups. Either way, since people won't buy as many capsules as these days in the future if supply remains massive and profits are not to be had, I think Valve could and should look for some system to lower the supply to continue to make money from capsule sales. When I first saw this G2 holo sticker from the Stockholm Major, right before Valve put out the update and this image of the mouse gold sticker, I had hope for a second that we might actually not have gold stickers in this Major. For months I was of the opinion that golds would return simply to add more incentive to unbox these capsules and at the end Valve did decide to go with that route. But seeing these stickers and seeing their prices pre-discount, it did make me wonder. Could holos be enough incentive if they look like that? While the lore pattern on the holos isn't for everyone, the prices of them compared to golds and the demand difference between holos and foils clearly shows that the holo stickers are the big ticket stickers in these capsules. I think you could even say holos should be of higher rarity than they currently are. Realistically, the only reason for why foils are rarer than holos is because, well, that's how it always has been. So what would happen if Valve decided to leave out golds from future capsules and make holos the rarest tier? Well, execution-wise, it would be simple. Since the tiers aren't called holos and foil but rather remarkable and exotic, the switch would be seamless. For RMR in Stockholm, this would mean they would be the only team sticker collections with rare gold stickers, making them more demanded and valuable. Now all this is fine. Disregarding the fact that Valve will not realistically see a need to switch up holo and foil rarity, two issues would arise. The first is that foil stickers from previous majors would lose their value, whether it's Atlanta, Boston, London or Berlin, since now you could get them for as cheap as ever and in their highest ever supply. Realistically, most of these foils won't make good investments anyway, since the demand for them is low regardless, and foils from RMR and Stockholm are in abundant supply either way, but it would worsen that effect. For another, Future capsules at 20 cents with just 3 tiers would still make those stickers and capsules pretty much worthless. Holos would still be easy to get and as a result relatively cheap, which would result in there being little incentive to unbox capsules. So while no more golds would be nice for RMR and would increase its value, future capsules would not be making Valve much money which is where the big issue with this scenario is, a scenario many people thought was possible coming into Stockholm. When looking at financials it doesn't make much sense for Valve however. This third and final way to save RMR investments, at least from what comes to my mind, is that Valve release future team sticker capsules at a higher price. Whether it's going back to the previous model where team capsules went for 1 euro or so on discount, or whether it's using the 85 cent price as the post discount price, if Valve release future team capsules at a price point higher than right now, that means RMR and Stockholm would be the cheapest way to gamble on team sticker capsules. Now the issues here are plenty. First, the less obvious. Player autograph capsules cost 20 cents on discount as well and since the last major was the Berlin one, we never had those capsules available for as cheap ever since RMR went on sale. So even if future team sticker capsules went for 1 euro or something, the autograph capsule would still cost 20 cents on sale, meaning it would still be as cheap an option to gamble on as RMR. Not only that, but unlike RMR where every team sticker has a ton of supply and a low price, autograph capsules include 40, 
or at least this year, 35 players in one, which means some player golds may be rare and expensive enough to make opening these more enticing. Basically, RMR's problem would not be solved. And the second, more obvious argument against higher prices is that, well, why? Valve make a lot more sales through these cheap capsules. Not only investors, but a ton of casuals buy and unbox these, simply because it's a very cheap way to gamble. Add to that that there will always be people who invest into them as well and you won't see any reason for Valve to increase prices of capsules. Obviously, this was just a thought experiment to see what Valve could do and whether it would work, not scenarios that are necessarily realistic. While I like the badge idea myself or the collector's book idea or whatever, and would love to see something like that implemented to give stickers another use as consumables, I would say the chance of something like that is very slim. Me and a few other members of the CSGO Market Forum Discord had a discussion with a guy who didn't see a reason for why Valve would put out a sale for the Stockholm items, since in that case RMR would be dead and no one would open anymore and not only that people also wouldn't invest anymore so i just want to give some final thoughts on that first off valve don't care about rmr once that sale was over valve are out they will let the market sort itself out whether people still open those or not they don't care since it doesn't require a key or anything to open them which would make them additional money currently valve are selling stockholm capsules and that's where they will be looking to get money from and concerning Stockholm, Valve have already, without even releasing a discount yet, made a ton of money from this sale. At least 6.5 million dollars is what they've made from souvenir tokens and they will have made many more millions from all other items, meaning they likely are already halfway through what they got from Berlin, which was 22 million dollars total. With a discount, this major will likely earn them way more than that. Since these stickers look this good, people will still invest into them, people are mass opening them, and unless or until Valve see a severe decline in income, it doesn't seem like they will care about oversupplying these cheap stickers. I see Valve as forward thinkers, so if they realize there is a problem for their bottom line in the future, not a problem with investing mind you, then they will surely address it. As of right now, here's how I could see things unfold. Stockholm is still very much invested in and the capsules perform similarly, but a bit worse than RMR up to the next major which should be in May 2022. Stickers meanwhile go down in price over time. Once the next major comes out, if the stickers don't look good, I could see people investing into Stockholm again instead of going with the new major items and the next major therefore being underinvested. and in that case, these two sets of collections could become alright investments. Or people just overinvest so much into Stockholm, the next stickers look okay to good again and Stockholm goes down to 20 cents or so, which would mean there's only short term flipping potential with these capsules left. Now these are my thoughts on something we have no clue about. Overall, I wouldn't put too much stock into major stickers anymore. What made older investments work was that mainly, well, everything worked between 2019 and 2021. And no majors since Berlin definitely had something to do with that. If we look at past performance, we'll notice that most at best gave 100% returns in a year or longer, which is okay but not nearly what you're expecting to see these days with how overinvested these are. RMR could have done great as an investment if team goals and or that low price point for team stickers were a one-time thing. I think Valve could and should have kept it that way, but they didn't. So I would recommend to be cautious when investing into Stockholm and wouldn't hold my breath regarding the short, mid and long term potential of RMR investments. But I would love to hear your thoughts so feel free to share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video as always, have a good one.